Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we are continuing our 12 by 18 greenhouse build. In this episode, we are going to be putting the plastic sheeting up on the walls. So let's not waste any time and let's get to it. So a little story here, uh, over the Memorial Day weekend, I was out of town and my wife was here by herself and a huge windstorm came through um, while I was gone. I had all of the plastic sheeting stacked up on the trailer. Um, inside there's some metal pieces they had to protect them and I had some wood stacked up on top of that the metal to try and hold them all down but uh, I guess the wind gusts got up over 50 miles an hour and completely scattered all the plastic sheets uh, all across our lot and the adjacent lot. My wife was taking a nap and got woken up by the noise and had to run around and, and get them all picked up. But unfortunately, it beat some of the sheets up pretty good. So some of them got some, let's see if I can find a kind of a messed up one. Well, anyway, so here's, here's one that I actually just picked up off the ground on the other side of the runway. And it, it deformed a bunch of the plastic sheet pretty good. I don't I don't think it'll stop me, but it also scratched it up pretty bad in a lot of places, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Give you a little update here. I did not film myself putting these first kind of three rows up on this back side because I didn't know what I was doing and I wanted to uh, kind of just focus on it. And besides it was super windy yesterday when I was putting these up and I was already fighting the wind. So we got three rows up here and you can see kind of some of the the scratching and more and from them getting blown around but that that is what it is uh so i got you know this is a full sheet here this is a full sheet here and then you got a window and a half sheet underneath it but it is starting to come together so i'll kind of do a little bit more how to as i start putting up the rest of the sheeting Okay, so the first thing you do is you put these foam uh, closure strips on, is what they call them. But they, they look like this. They're just uh, molded foam that matches the profile of the sheeting itself. But what I figured out real quickly is that already, I'm trying to get my shadow out of the way, already on these strips, they're already stretched out too far. They're actually, they don't line up with the the profile of the sheets at all. So what I discovered is, is you have a ridge, you have a, you know, a ridge, 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 and they are perfectly on one foot spacing. So you go through and I marked with a Sharpie exactly one foot spacing all the way down. And when you put these closure strips up, you actually have to kind of compress them and you shorten them and so that each of the high points on the ridge lines up with your mark and then you just kind of wad the excess up in between them. That seems like it's been working pretty good for me. So I need to put the rest of the little closure strips along this edge on the bottom and then the same thing at the top. Okay, so now that the closure strips are up, the next thing we need is we need one of these lap stiffeners. These, they're kind of like a molded piece that goes behind the two joints, or behind the joint as you try and lap two sheets together. So I'm gonna pull this plastic protection off, take it outside and get a full sheet ready to screw up. Okay, so I got the sheet up right here, and in this next opening, there's going to be a window up here. So on my first window, I ended up putting the window up first and then the sheet up second. But I had to cut a bunch of the sheet and trim around uh, where the window was. So I actually think for this second time, I'm going to put the lower sheet up first and then put the window on top of it. So we are going to have another one of these 
lap stiffeners, um, I need to plane it out right because on the windows, you also have the lap stiffeners, but you have these fins. You have these aluminum fins on the back side of the window that go behind the stiffener even. So you can see here, the screw goes through both sheets of plastic, the lap stiffener and the aluminum fin. So you kind of got to tuck all this in together and I'll kind of show you how to do that because there was not very good instructions on how to install the windows. But uh, first things first, let's put the half sheet down here. All right, so here is the box that the windows came in and the printed instructions on the box are all that there are. So these are fairly cryptic, not super easy to comprehend drawings. So let me kind of show you what's inside and it's really not so bad once you get going. All right, so the windows come with four sets of fins. Let me see if I can show you their profiles. You have uh, this set right here that is very similar to this set right here. Okay, so you got this set right here and this set right here. So the one in my right hand does not match my type of metal, and this is for a different uh, kind of pattern metal siding. So these we're gonna throw away. Um, this one right here is for the type of paneling that I have, so I'll use these on the sides. This one's just a little bit deeper than the other one. They also come with a flat fin, and the flat fin is if you don't have, uh, if you have a framed in opening for the window and you're not just mounting it to the metal sheeting, I do not have a framed in opening, so we're not gonna use the flat. And then finally, you got kind of this Y-shaped, uh, uh, fin here and this goes on at the very end. This is just kind of cover-up trim. So I will use these So the fins that I need for me Are these two fins and there are two of each of these fins there comes they come in sets of two Okay, so if you come over here and look at the window close We are on the outside of the window and if you bend it over you see that it has these Slides here in the back so you are going to take your kind of shaped channel and it is going to line up with the metal like that. So this slides into this slot just like that and you'll slide it in like that on both sides. Okay, so let's go get it. Uh, let's go get it set up inside. Okay, so I got the camera set up inside. Looking at me, I'm on the outside, going to set the window up. I'm doing this by myself, so it's not real easy. But what I'm doing uh, to start is on where this window sets, which it sets on the skirt right here. I put a stack of two paint sticks here and a stack of two paint sticks here to kind of act as shims and shimming up off the skirt just a little bit. And I did that because the window is not quite tall enough. And if I don't have these in place, there's nothing up top to screw into. So I'm shifting it up just a little bit in order to help me get this top lip of this window screwed in. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay, so I'm learning all the time. So the first thing here is you see this kind of gap where your plastic has to fit in between these two tabs. I got that figured out. What I messed up on is I need this fin right here to tuck underneath this right here. So I need notch out this right here in order for it to work. 
Okay, I had a little bit of an issue with my bottom girt here not being perfectly level. So I ended up having to shim it all on this side and try and get it pulled down there and then kind of pulled up in the corner to, to tweak it this way. But now, while it's not perfectly square, it still needs to tilt more. That's kind of as much as I can do it. So we're gonna go ahead and mount it right here. So what I, how I installed it is I actually didn't put the fins on it yet. So the fins are completely gone off it. And next, I am going to attempt to kind of slide that fin in behind all of that now that it's already in place. So I'm going to attempt to put the fins in after the fact and see if that tactic works. Okay, so putting it up without the fins and then tapping the fin in behind the lap stiffener and the sheeting actually worked out pretty good. And I didn't have to cut or notch that bottom sheet at all. It's still an entire piece. So first thing I did was I, without the fins, is I went ahead and set the window up. You saw me do that. Uh, we have it straddling these two pieces of aluminum, straddling this lower sheet here, and then all the way up at the top here. Now, you have two screws that go in from a top lip from the outside to the end, and then you have two screws, you have one here and one here that go from the inside out, and those screws are hidden by kind of the bottom trim, so you don't see those. From this side, you can see where the screws come through. Um, and then once I tapped the aluminum fin in behind. I ran these screws in and those screws go through the plastic sheet, the stiffener, and the aluminum fin and that keeps all that nice and tight together there. Well, all right, there it is. There is the first side done. So uh, you kind of saw what I was doing. I am certainly not an expert at this. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look horrible. So I am going to take it. Uh, it will be pretty much more of the same for the rest of this. So I might just jump over to hyperlapse and you can watch me work real fast. Okay, so all of the sheeting is up. So we can go down here. I have the two pieces on the front end wall on either side of the door. That one you can't really see behind the door. We do have that sheet up right there. And then around here on the back, all four sheets are up. Well, all right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. So in this episode, we got the wall sheeting up and the windows installed. So in the next episode, we should finish up the greenhouse by doing the roof sheeting and the trim. So that's going to end it for today. So stay tuned and I'll catch you on the next video.